Hello, welcome to my channel. Just came in here, just pulled into this new job site I'm working on here. It's a pond, gonna reclaim here. I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, here's what we got going on. There's an old pond that was back in here. And the landowner, he's been cutting trees out. And all these trees here are going to have to come out, I know, but um, for the most part, I've been piling some brush up here, but back here so we can see what I got. Need some trees dropped. I'm gonna push all this out. This was the old pond, like right here. Kind of just drops off the other side, but I'm gonna end up pushing this pond like back, get it back in by that tree and build this out. It's gonna make it a little shorter, but you'll see what the problem is up here. Major, major washout. Big issues here. Basically, we got a river running down through here. Wash this whole sucker out, and that pipe's gone. That thing is shot. So, open this up, and then uh, should be good. Should be a good one. Nice, easy pushes, hopefully. Ha ha ha. So, oh, so much this fine job. First ditch. Big stump hole. Big. Big stump hole. Right where we wanted it. Nobody got hurt. It's on the ground. Big hole. on the mud mess that we have here uh, worked most of the day yesterday trying to get things done and uh, we got a bunch of 
clay piled up up here. It's wetter than hell, but um, found a bunch of springs down in there. And to come back this morning, we already got water laying in there. But it's going out the other side slowly. But uh, got a pile of dirt there. He knocked a few more trees down. He's got a pile there. We're going to get that casted up the hill and take care of it up there and try to get things cleaned up and keep this thing draining so maybe it'll dry up some. Come back later on and put the overflow in and stuff. Two months later, I came back. Actually, there's grass growing on these piles here. And uh, landowners cut a few more trees down. But uh, it actually looks pretty good. I actually just brought the mini excavator in. And I tracked all the way down right to the water edge. Which, when I had the 308 in here, I couldn't even get down in there. So, pretty hopeful that tomorrow's going to go well. I'm going to have to squeegee this water out. But, uh... Yeah, looks pretty good, I think. So, like I said, hopefully we'll get some good clay in here and we can, I gotta get this shaped, build around this way. And then my brother's gonna be here and he's gonna take and stump this out. And then we're gonna build this back in and relay that uh, overflow. But you see, there's my tracks where I just drove the mini down in here and barely even made a damn track in here. So, feeling pretty good about it. We got a little water. I'm gonna have to squeegee out here, get behind it, and shove it out. It shouldn't be too bad. But uh, and then we gotta cut this water. As you can see, we got water coming on us all the time. So I have to build a dike up in here, all the way around, and then put this new overflow. And then we gotta put the pipe in. So. Okay, I didn't post this video for quite a while because, uh, quite frankly, I really wasn't pleased with the way this pond turned out. Never really had good luck going in and trying to clean ponds out, but this one here, we were dirt bound from the beginning to the end. I had my brother in here, and uh, he's running the mini excavator, and I rented this 550 John Deere, which it was a pushing little girl. She did a lot of pushing there, but... Uh, we push this all the way over, and you see I cut a road in on that back side. That's actually going to be the back berm over there. And uh, we use some of that dry material to fill in the hole where that pipe had washed out. But, um, yeah, my brother, he's back there. He's bailing the mud out of that right now so we can get it keyed in there. But, uh, yeah, I really wasn't extremely pleased with the way it turned out. But uh, it is what it is. Like I said, this was our second attempt in here. I brought, I had my dozer in, the 308 in here the first time. And then my dozer is actually down right now, so I had to rent this 550 and then keep, get my brother in there because we, you know, once we started plugging that water off, this thing started filling up quick. And believe it or not, it looked nice and dry, but as soon as we broke the top loose, barely could get anywhere. So we ended up getting the dozer hung up a couple times and the excavator hung up in there just miserable but uh hope you enjoyed the video like i said I'll show you a little aftermath here when we get done here but uh if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and do so thanks for watching well i didn't get much video of this but uh pretty much done here so i'll we'll show you what i got there it is down there already got water into it but 24 inch overflow pipe there. Water everywhere. There's a mound of dirt that didn't get moved. So.